Oh, hello. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Well, Winston, hey. Hey, Dave, how are you, bro? We're just giving it a moment for um, to allow people to come on. Let me see if I can adjust so you can see Dre a little bit. <coughs> Oof. Uh, hi, Facebook fam. We can't see who has joined us for some reason, but we, we see you on there. Uh, we do give it two to three minutes for everyone. Hey, Antoine, to join. Hey, Andy, how are you? Smoke King. Antoine, you on both? <laughs> For those of you joining us, hey Jenny, how are you doing? For those of you joining us, we're giving it a minute, letting everybody join before we start the conversation so we don't have to start again and again and again and again. Hey, hey. Sorry we were out last week. We had a lot going on and uh we're not able to do the show we actually also had to to guest on another show last week um so sorry 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 andy, too. andy yeah a lot of y'all on both all right hey hey <coughs> one day we will have a nice new camera which we don't have to kind of squeeze on our phones <laughs> We working things out one day at a time. Um, all right, babe. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. A couple more seconds and gotta let it up. There you go. Uh, all right, hello everyone. Good evening. <clears throat> um, we had a topic for last week, but uh, like she, uh, Ronnie was saying, we wasn't available, but. I feel like we talked about this, but someone um, sent this over to us. So, and it was uh, it was a report. Basically, someone uh, this this guy gave his kid's mom or his child's mom, should I say, money for school. Let's say school shopping. <clears throat> Only to find out that he split that money. She split that money with her other kids. Because their dad, um, you know, not doing what I guess what they supposed to do, and basically was saying, "How do you feel about it?" Ooh. Which I think. Ooh. What's your opinion? This is a this one is a a heavy topic because let's talk about it from the mom's point of view. If. So the person that gave money, it was the mother gave money to the father. Mm -mm. The father gave money to the mother mm -hmm. and she put it on her other kids. She split it amongst she split her split it amongst her kids. Okay, so my thing is <laughs> what? You been there, Andy? Been there, yeah. Yeah, but but I mean doesn't <clears throat> okay. Divina. For me being a mother that takes care of her kids. A lot of times when you're when you're a mom and you're a single mom, you're spending your money taking care of those kids all the time, 100 percent of the time. Up, when chef? that child support check comes in or the father does his part and gives you money by that time, you may have already, you know, spent everything that you need to spend on those kids. And you have to split it amongst however is remaining. I don't really necessarily think it's right for you to pay for other kids, but I don't know. That's a tough one. I've been so Antoine said I've been there where money was given and used on her bills instead of the kids. 
Uh, what's up, Dave? Um, well, what if she already paid money? What if she already put the money on the kids and is taking care of everything they needed? And she was reimbursing all of that money that she had already spent. Chef T, what's good? Um, <clears throat> so, his... All right, so from from his standpoint, his thing is those other kids is not his responsibility. That's true. That's true. And but what she does with that money ain't his, you know. After he gave it to her, but see, but he gave it to is for his child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So my thing is, so if my so so now you're saying that my child had to be missed out because. These other guys didn't do what they supposed to do. No, why doesn't he not give the money, but instead give the items that the child needs? Buy the clothes and give the clothes or buy the food and give the food. If he feels like his money is being misused or misrepresented, why don't he just directly buy the stuff? I mean, that's too... I, mean, I don't know if this court appointed or whatever the case may be. One second. Andy said, my husband and I were giving money from my husband's older face. Hold on y'all hold on hold, hold. all right my husband is giving money from my husband's oldest she was using it for herself and and her sister or her other kids I'm sorry my eyes messed up and his son was still needing things oh, he shouldn't no. have been needing all right see that's what I'm talking about um, Keith, what's going on with you? Uh, D says, but I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Ro. That's what I did, especially when the money came after I've taken care of my kids and bills were due. Yeah, a lot of moms experience that, and fathers don't understand that. Like, you putting out all this money and you waiting on them to give the money. You know, and you, by that time, you've already spent everything you got on everything. Okay. She didn't because between me and my family, we buy everything they need and want. Who's, who's that? Antoine. Antoine. All right, so my... my hey, I, Terrence. My thing is... All right, let's... I'm just going to give it a number. He was giving $600 a month, right? For his child. So when he see his child and his child's shoes too small... Or clothes too small, yeah, that's a and then he like, hold on, why is your why is your shoes too small? I just gave you know X amount of dollars or whatever the case may be, right? For these particular reasons, why are you so much? You always hungry when I know I'm providing. Sorry, y'all. So, right. so, so that was his his gripe. Her thing is, I'm a parent. I got to take care of all my kids. You only have to take care of one. Yeah, but if, uh, if you're giving them money and your your kids' shoes are too small and stuff like that, that's a that's an issue. Where's the money going? To the, uh, all the other kids. So, in other words, she had to put it in order like as, as a need per child. You know what I'm saying? It's a need per child. So, in other words, even though one father's paying, she got three kids' father, three different kids, right? So... This child needs needs stuff right this second. His child probably could wait. So she'd be like, well, I'm just going to take the money. Take it. This child could ain't need. He's saying, that's again, that's not my responsibility. That's an issue that needs to be bring it to the courts. Right. And that was the outcome. So he went to court basically and, um, and, and basically provide, and gave it. Because he was recording. All right, so he went in and he had a recording, right? And she didn't know, whatever. And he recorded the whole conversation. And she basically admitted this is what she was doing. Um, I don't know how to handle I honestly don't know how to handle that. Because, again, there are two sides to every story. So that $600 is a lot of money, though, for, for one kid. And maybe she doesn't make the money. To take care of all of those kids and maybe she has to split amongst you know them to take care of their needs you know but i mean that's her but that, what i'm saying her. is that's what she's saying she's saying is i have three kids i gotta take i can't just have 
your one child walking around fly and full all the time and my other kids are hurting. So from a mother's standpoint, she was like, I have to do what I have to do. Right. So I, I'm not necessarily 100 percent like knocking, knocking her. I got you. But I got you. I, from a much, she got to do what she got to do. She got to do what she got to do. Um, and at that time, that was, she felt that was the best way. Whereas, but on the father's side, he like, hold on. You done took me to court. You Where are the fathers? Where are their fathers? Right. They not they not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? So uh-huh. he's like, I don't got nothing to do with me. So his gripe is because the other father is not doing things. So she keep. Trying to go to court and increase money on his one dad. I agree. The comment on the floor is she needs to take them to court as well. Or flip it around. He needs to take her back to court. Which and, he did. Okay. I was going to say either get his child or, or, or fix it. Don't don't get less give less money. But get your child. If you got a problem with what's going on. Right, Antoine. That's what I'm saying. But see, the other... Like, she put papers out. You know what I'm saying? For child... But... It is what it is. You know, the other dudes, you know, don't have no steady job, whatever. So it's not like, you know what I'm saying, it was that simple for the other two. The other two ain't, you know, they ain't doing it. This one guy's response, he got a job, he didn't sniff. So he, so end of the, end of the thing, he's like, I'm going to court. And like I said, he recorded this whole conversation. And um, and she didn't know that he recorded it, but he recorded it. So he had to prove that this is what she was doing. Wow. And her answer was like, what do you expect me to do? I have other kids. I can't. Do one take care of one and not let the others go to wayside. Right? So do you know what happened in court? I don't know the end. I just know he took it to court. He, I think I don't know if he's taking the court um, to get custody or now, I think or trying to. Uh, I, I forgot. It definitely, might be custody. You know what I'm saying? But I know he definitely custody. took it to court. And I think it was what it was is because she had took she had she was trying to take him back to court to get an increase. That's what it was, and he was taking this so he can stop the increase. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, so, did. just one. No, it, ah. so that that was one topic. Um, you guys got any comments on that? We got we got so many people wanting to talk about stuff, so we kind of go from topic to topic to topic. Do love distract? Does you? love distract you from your goals? That was a request that came in last week and the week before. It shouldn't. I don't, you, I don't think it should. I think if you're in the right love situation, it helps you get to your goals. It helps you reach your goals, especially if y'all are on the same, uh, in the mind, y'all are on the same level. Y'all are trying to accomplish things together. Even though, even if you have separate goals, you still are kind of led to the same place. Does that make sense? I'm kind of bad one today. Um, <laughs> uh, well, my answer is it, it shouldn't, uh, Dave. Um, yeah, it, it, it should. You know what I'm saying? Your goal is your goal. Um, and if your love or whatever case may be is distracting you from it, I don't, I don't know if that is a good thing. That's definitely not a good thing. I, like, you can't, you cannot get into a situation where you're so into another person that you forget what you have to do. You still have to take care of your goals and and make sure you're doing things to get to where you need to be. You you are still an individual person. Yeah, it's comedy questions. I mean, answers from the original topic. Um, uh, yeah, Andy. Um, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, he should go ahead and try to get the custody. Um, Antoine, like I said, and that is messed up because oh, if. Just a question, not about me. Oh, all right, Dave. Um, good question, though. Good question. I, 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 again, I would say it should not. And because oh, if that's going on, whatever case may be, man, I'm, I'm sorry that is. And if look, I'm gonna sum it up like this if you a parent and you're uncomfortable how your child is living, put yourself in a position to get your child. I, I totally agree. Like, you can't complain about, well, guys are kind of in a different situation. A lot of times, guys feel like they don't get the same uh, we don't. leeway as, as we don't. women do in the courtroom. So, don't. <laughs> all they can do is complain about it. You got to you know? you you paint such a horrible picture of the mom before the court listen to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't agree with that because I went and um, with my... My daughter's father, when we were together, 
we went to court and took his kid's mother and got custody of his daughter from her. She was married, had lived in uh, Atlanta in a banger house. So how did y'all get? What was the grounds? The grounds were that she um, needed to be in a better school district and that she needed to. Um, she wanted to spend time with her father as well. Um and we just didn't feel like the the house, the situation where she she was having all these babies and she, we didn't feel like she was being taken care of. It was kind of the same situation. We were sending all this money and she was not showing that she was getting any of this money. She was complaining about being hungry and her brothers was getting all this stuff and she wasn't getting it and stuff like that. So, you know, we just proved that we had a comparable it was exactly the same and that she wasn't being taken care of um according to what we were sending and we got custody of her she actually just moved out of the house at 22. that was when she was like 12. uh one second okay so i lost my way before but i'm truly focused on oh, this dave Love should drive you, not hurt you. That's that's true. Uh, Davina says, my kid's father tried to get my kids from me because his wife didn't like me, but it failed. Yeah, yeah, you got. You, yeah, you it's not that a, simple. It's, yeah, yeah, you I gotta mean, have a a point point. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. my thing is this: I, I still feel that um, the court, when it comes to kids, um, a highly fav in the favor of the mom, um, being as though you know there is the nurturer of yeah. uh, the two. Um, so if you don't have a substantial um, reasoning reasoning why this child shouldn't be with the nurturer, you know you show. But I we sometimes I feel like it get, it takes a man to raise a boy. You know they always go towards the mom, but sometimes moms can't raise these boys like they need to be raised. That's why we out here with all these these teenagers and these teenage boys that's running all rampant and don't know how to be men. No, I mean, I agree. But, um, yeah, I, I think at a certain age, uh, a boy definitely should be with his dad. Um, if his dad not all in his picture from the beginning to the end. But at a certain age, I definitely um, believe that at a young age, um, they do need a mom around. Because, again, we don't really carry, a lot of us don't really carry that nurturing gene. Well, man, some, some fathers can't, we got to be damn near perfect to get our kid. Some father can't do what, R.D.? Um, raise a boy to be a man. Oh, is that it? you saying some is fathers that? can't raise boys to be a man. Is that your... Uh, is that what you're trying to say, D? Um, if that is, um, I, I would say uh, in some cases I agree with you. Um, back in the day, whatever case it may be, you know what I'm saying? You know, was running doing whatever. Raise their son. Yeah. So, their so son. this one, uh, which I needed, this one dude, there's a bunch of his sons around the same age, right? And they, this one, they was young. They probably like, I'm talking like five. You know, they were real young. And a bunch of us, you know, had sons around that same age. So they I come around the corner one day and they had all the little youngest outside fighting. So. And they was like, Dre, go get saved. And I'm like, I didn't raise, I'm not raising no pit bull. Mm. Like, I'm not putting my son out to, for y'all enjoyment. Like, so I agree, D. Some people just had a messed up notion on how to, yeah. yeah. Have you ever dated someone where. where <laughs> Dave, things, stay, stay on the topic. Why are you getting. Where, where things were going great, but all of a sudden, the person decides to go another, go to another state. Not attempting to invite you to move with her, would you let it go? Yes. <laughs> Dave, you gotta you gotta ask these questions. Wait a minute. When we when we on the, a different topic, we uh, we talking about child support. Uh, my answer is mm -hmm. yes to that though, Dave. Um, was I wrong? Uh, D says some were too involved in the streets. Never was raised by men themselves. Yeah, yeah so they saying. don't know how to how to raise a man because they haven't been raised by men. And this yeah. 
It's hard out here. It is hard out here. But I'm not. But I'm gonna say this. Just because you wasn't raised by a man, is, I'm, I'm not giving them excuse. I know we we're quick to give these some of these youngins and dudes excuses. I wasn't raised my father. And I think I mean I'm pretty damn good right now. You know what I'm saying? Like of course I ran through you know situations or whatever the case oh, may be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But overall, you have to make a decision, right? You know how you was raised. You know how you grew up, right? Either you loved it or you didn't, right? If you did not love how you grew up, when I mean, you have a child, why? Would you want to repeat that cir- that's, uh, same cycle? Yeah. A lot that of, was for me. There's you know a saying? lot of guys that are driven to make sure that their kids do not deal with the things that they dealt with. You know, that, and I know I, I have a couple of friends who had no man in their life, but they are amazing fathers because they don't want their sons or daughters to experience that and to go through that. Yeah. So um, that was my when I had kids, I already knew off the break what kind of father I wanted to be. Um, was I, I necessarily wasn't really in a position to be what I felt I should have been, but um, I knew what I didn't want. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and I just went from that. You know what I'm saying? Dave said I had a mentor. My father was not around, but my mentors raised me. Yeah. And they did a good job, bro. Like I guess every, I had struggles like that. Yeah. My thing is, I, I feel like every situation is not. Is, is, is everything is not black and white, right? Just because you don't have a father don't mean you're going to be messed up, right? Just because you ran the streets don't mean you're going to end up messed up. Because at some point, you become mature enough to make a decision right. for yourself, right? And um, I, mean, I can only speak for myself. And I knew once I had... my, And I say this all the time. Tell my, kid, my kids saved me. I mean, I don't know the way my life was going, whatever the point is. I needed some type of responsibility because I didn't not have any. So once I got kids, it gave me a sense of responsibility, which helped me get away from certain things I was getting myself into. But um, bless you. Thank you. So, um, yeah, but it, it becomes, at a certain age, it becomes, um, it's, it's what you want. It's what you want to make. It's what you want for you, especially when you have kids. It's what you want. I don't want my my kid. Now I'm not gonna say even with that. They still at their age. They gonna end up being whoever they whoever they want to be. be. Antoine just, says no father here at all. Uh, Dave says, but I learned how to be a man from those I see and those who kept me prayed up. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody is not for me. Um, and and and. and not that my father was not around, I, you know, nothing like that. It's just that we never had that type of, uh, uh, hey, cuzzo, what's good? Um, had that type of connection. So when I got a certain age, I didn't want to be around my, my father. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I'm grown, need to be around. You know what I'm saying? Um, but one thing I was told when I was little, there's no book on parenting. There's no book. Life, we all had dark path. Yeah. Uh, there's no book on parenting, um, but my thing is, from here, you should know what you want. You know what you want for your child. Um, if you had a great childhood, whatever, you probably gonna want that for your child. And if there's had, some people that had great childhoods that have messed up adulthoods. Yeah, yeah. You know? because they felt like I don't know. Sometimes you have kids that get raised in these amazing conditions, and they get to see the world and do different things, but yet then they feel like. They want to be like the kids they don't have. And yeah. I've seen a lot of kids like that. What's that, V? Um, yeah, at a certain age, I just feel like you got to uh, make a decision. Especially when you're dealing with kids and children, man. You got to understand, like, what do you really want? If you out here, uh, again, raising your kids just to be... For some dudes, for some, you know, they, they still... My, my player, my player, player. And all that type of, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. so when they, then when your son end up going up to have, you know, m- multiple children with multiple baby mm-hmm. mothers, and you look at them like, you know, what are you doing? That's your player, player. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you, you just wanted. Um, but again, um, I think this is just a decision that you have to make uh, for yourself, what you want to have with a child. So I know some, I mean, don't get me wrong, I believe maybe it's great to have a two-parent household, but it's not the end of life if it you sure don't. It sure isn't. Um, most, most great people that you meet only have one-parent households. Yeah, so you can be as great and not as great as you want to be. 
Because it's still a decision is on you. I struggled a lot with not having parents around, but my grandmother raised me and was both since she passed. I learned to pass down to my sisters and my brother the things my grandmother taught me. Man, where are those grandparents? Back back in the day, you used to have grandparents and the elders that would just keep this circle tight. Now, we don't have that no more. Um, And it's just an opinion. Because I think... Some, some other, Mm -mm. Oh, um, it's just an opinion. Um, that it's a generation loss, right? So some where we had the you know great, you know, the grandmothers that were they were raised to be nurturers. They was raised to. Be, I think somewhere again it was a generation loss. Um, it got to a point where it's, I don't want to get on my soapbox. But it got to a point where it's, the women can do without a man. Yeah. Right? Break up the household. Number one plan, get that man about the household. It's working, y'all. It's working. It's working. The breaking up the families, man. Uh huh. The Venus said, We the grandparents now. Hey, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. facts. <laughs> and luckily, luckily, we was fortunate enough to have our grandparents, so we do have something to pull from. Yeah. Um, whereas my, my like my mom was a worker, right? She wasn't your typical grandma, but she's coming into the role within probably um last year or so. But she was a worker. This you know, just all she knew. Um so when I, my kids was coming up, my mother worked, so she couldn't be that typical grandmother. My grandmother actually was still around, so that's who raised you know, kinda helped me with my kids. Um but again, because I've seen it and all of that I can pull from that. So with my grandkids, I pull from what, you know, I know what I got from my grandmother. My grandmother was my rock, and since she passed, I feel lost. Um, Antoine said, Dave said, you have to really be cautious these days when you have siblings and people who look up to you. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah it's, you gotta be careful how you walk. I definitely was lost when I lost my grandmother, and I had my dad. I, I was raised by my dad, and his wife adopted me, and I had my mom, and I still felt so so lost when my grandmother was gone, and the family didn't even seem the same. You know, when the grandparents are together, everybody's going out, meeting each other, staying in contact, but. When they left, it was kind of like, you on your own, you figure it out. Dre and I did uh, Thanksgiving last year and kept that family tradition. All of the family, both sides came together, you know, but things are happening and it's just making it almost impossible to do that now. Yeah. Um, Antoine, uh, what I got to say to you is um, you got to remember what she instilled in you, bro. And, um, and that's what you got to lead with. Well, she instilled the Jews what you need to leave with. Um, ah, I may forget what I was about to say. Yeah, but you, like I said, so for those that, that like I said, did have their grandparents, whatever the case may be, um, pull from what they left, what they poured into you, pull from that. Um, and, that and that's what I'm trying to do, like with my um, grandkids or whatever. Um, but yeah, um, it, it, make, it makes you see all the stuff we put them through. Oh, uh, Dave, yeah. So you have made a comment, and I, I believe you. Like the way you walk, um, is more is the same as, you, as what you talk. You know what I'm saying? People watch you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if, if you can lead by example, and without saying a word. So I, I agree with you. You have to watch how you move. You know. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna be like that, Twan. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I don't share, you know, I don't get all emotional and I don't really share too much whatever cases, but you know, I, you know I miss my grandmother. You know what I'm saying? Like, but um I know I gotta go on, you know what I'm saying? When I lost her, I knew I had to do something, right? Mm -hmm. Um sad that she didn't see a lot. Um, but I knew from that point on, two things that changed my life, her and the passing of an old co-worker, I knew uh, a character change had to happen, right? Um, Mr. Melvin? Yeah. 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 
Um, so that that was yeah, it for that me. That's amazing. what turned around. So same thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still a void, but I my voice getting filled because I know the things that I'm doing and the way I'm walking. Man, my my grandma be happy, proud. You know, I'm saying so all of that because you know what I'm saying it's like she seen me through some tough times. I, I like I said, I only missed the fact that she didn't see the turn. She I think she seemed to turn around right before she got sick. Yeah. But if she could have seen the full thing come full circle, she man. She can see it. She can see it. You. So just remember that, Tom. Just remember that. She's still with you. Just just make her proud, man. Make her proud. So how's everybody holding up? Everybody's still holding it together? Your mental okay? Your physical okay? Because I'm, I'm just eating still a lot. Um, hopefully, you know, you guys are healing. I know we did have a couple of our viewers who came down with the virus. Um, I'm hoping you know well wishes that you all are doing all right getting better healing and still keeping it together um, during this time Dre and I are still working from home uh, which is kind of, that's a blessing actually because <laughs> I know a lot of people are going back how many I had changed this day I had changed a lot with my queen but oh my grandmother my life turn around i'm going to make her proud exactly exactly um that's all we can do um with that um with ronnie just saying i was gonna ask how many of y'all are working from home and how you and how you handling it yeah yeah because it's not easy to be at home just sitting down all day working and then you know getting up to go sit down maybe watch some tv <laughs> but stuff is opening up as well you're not oh you you go back next next year so i'm saying you like yeah, it dude? i go you, back next year too you like working from home you like working from home i feel like i work harder from home oh yeah i definitely do more work from home it is it is a lot <laughs> the reason I, I, I'm asking this question is, man, I had some craziness, and I have had a couple of scares with this COVID from working, but I'm good. I'm good, glad to hear good, the ending. Good. You don't like it, then? To let people know God has blessed me more. Oh, that's the mask. That's why the message on the mask. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, we still here, even for the people that's watching, viewing us, whatever the case may be, man. Hey, the cover, man. I'm happy for that. Yes, indeed. Oh, you in this? Oh, you you working? You still out? The reason I ask that is like, so I like working from home. I don't want to ever go back. I, ain't gonna <laughs> to you. I mean, cause for me, for my not the catering stuff. I'm talking about my full time job, right? Um, I don't I don't understand why I need to be in there. Tired of eating. <laughs> yes, tell um, it like it is. This freaking that's all I want to do is eat. I'm thinking about eating right now, and I just ate. <laughs> yeah, they can, I can't. Um, I don't ever want to go back. It just makes no sense on why I need to go back because I can do everything. Now that they see I can do everything at home, to me, from a company standpoint, that's real estate you can give up. That's money you can save to the company. That's how I look at it. And on top of that, I found out that throughout meetings, people are complaining, right? Which I think is going to mess it up. So people are complaining that they need to get more money. They need to be reimbursed for using more air since they're sitting at home. <laughs> They need new. Ch they need a new chair because the chair they're using, uh, is not comfortable enough, you know, to work at then home. Then they need to buy one. All right. They they saying they're gonna buy one, but they won't be reimbursed, right? Well, I I got I did buy a lot of our stuff and got reimbursed for it. It's all about the company, honestly. I gave I gave them the receipt. They paid for it. I um. Um, so the, the the thing was what's gonna happen with all these complaints, they're gonna be like, Oh well in that case is instead of me buying you a chair or go back to the office. Hey, come on back to the chairs. office. There's a chair and sit in your chair uh -huh. and one air that I'm I'm like, Oh man, please People don't can't. man. People can't be happy, just be happy. I'm good, man. You know, security work don't ever stop. <laughs> yeah. Getting that test and having to wait for those results is scary. I wish I could work from home right now. Well, we can get our equipment from work. What does that say? Federal government. Even I, you know, I work. I work as a full-time employee for one company that contracts for the federal government, 
and they took care of everything you know we we decided to do our office i told my boss me and my husband are getting ready to do an office and this is what i'm going to buy and you know they took care of it and even with the stuff that i didn't buy they're saying hey do you need it i can go back to the office and get it or they'll send it to me you know so a lot it you gotta have you gotta have work for good companies some companies they ain't doing that they ain't having it they ain't gonna ask for it, it all depends on the company you work for was that ar he said uh his ceo gave every employee 200 dollars to use for anything you wanted to improve your workspace. Yeah, yeah, it's all about it's all about the company, yeah. man. I think in during this time, you start to see, you know, what companies you working for. Yeah. Cuz a lot of stuff has been happening and you you really see it. I, I think my company has been a stand-up company in this whole ordeal. And yeah, I, I like I said, I got all my I only thing I got from from work is the computer that they had to give us to work from. But other than that, I don't I mean personally, I don't want them from I don't trust my company. I ain't gonna lie to you. Know? <laughs> I, I I think I just I rather just buy my own stuff. You know what I'm saying? So um, and then there's stuff I can use, you know, personally too. So I was like, I don't want no, I don't want no smoke. Just let me get my own stuff. That's more reason. Let me stay home. I'm taking. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to buy nothing. My chair fine. If it doesn't, I buy me another. One. I mean, yeah, shoot, we were working right. at the dining room table for a long time. Yeah. I mean, we ain't complaining about that. We just right. got up and walked. Yeah, so I don't, I don't want no parts of that. Joint. Um, when we got recruitment from work, yeah. So my company has been giving us three hundred dollar bonuses every other month. It's like hazard pay. Nice. Hey, as long as they're doing something, they doing something. Yeah, just you know what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm talking about. Do something. Do something. You That's know what what's saying? up. Y'all think we gonna see another stimulus check? I think that ship is sailed. People saying maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, trying I'm to, over it. Yeah, I'm trying to get in the habit of not like I don't even read that stuff. I don't even want oh, because goodness, I don't want to um, get my hopes up high. Right? Even in my job with bonuses and stuff, and people be getting upset because they ain't get a bonus. I'm like, I don't calculate that stuff into right. my bills because. It's a it's gravy, you know what I'm saying? If you get it, you get it, you don't, you don't. But bills still got to get paid, you know? Mm-hmm. Things still got to move on. Mm-hmm. You didn't get hired saying, I'm going to give you this, you know what I'm saying? You got hired at this amount to do this work. That's right. And that's how I look at it. So, I, I mean, and don't get me wrong, I like it when they give it to me, but I don't try to, I try not to put myself in that position that I could join and mess you up. You're expecting something, and all of a sudden they come up, oh, like now, oh, no, no, no bonuses. No overtime, no none of that. You know what I'm saying? They can just snatch it away. So I don't. I, I try not to include that stuff into that. But um, we eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. Uh, um, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. If y'all, hey, send your topics. Send your topics. We really appreciate it. We be needing that help. Cause I don't, yeah, Dave I sent. Dave, thank you. Dave sent a couple of topics. I have them. Okay. Um, and we we got some pending on the back burner, but yeah, keep sending them. We appreciate you. Grind mode. Forget. Forget a package. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> got to work for mine. But all right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Peace up. Be safe. You too, D. You too, D. Oh.